Okay, when I make these next throws, definitely roll. Okay, so part of the deal with working this hollow belly on a jig head on rocks like this is that you can't really let it sink into the rocks. You've got to really work it just fast enough to just keep it moving on the rocks, maybe ticking on them here and there. You need it close to the rocks to get them to bite it, but if you let it drop all the way in, then all you end up doing is snagging it. So it's kind of a catch-22. But if you notice, I'm making long throws straight down the bank, keeping that bait in the strike zone as long as... There he is right there. Got that one. And he's going the other way again. There he goes. Just like that, guys. Just like that. All right, let me get out off the rocks where I can control the fish. And I uh, thumped that hollow belly, guys. Just absolutely thumped it. Okay, now I got the boat out. First thing I want to do is gain boat control first. Because if the fish goes between me and the dam, like this one's going to do. Oh, he's coming back. And he's going to get me in my own motor. I'm coming back, people. Okay. Oh, he's right here. Oh, it's a nice one, too. Okay, here we go. Coming around. <laughs> okay, maybe not just yet. Maybe not just yet. <laughs> Big dog wipers on hollow belly swim baits. That's a four inch bait too. It is not a huge bait. Oh, he swallowed it too. I can't even see the bait in there. Come here, come here, come here. Look at that. Look at that. I gotta show you this real quick before we even get anywhere. I am not entirely convinced, but I'm pretty thinking sure that he wanted it. Holy smokes. <laughs> 